said, come ye who are labored and I will give you rest. And I hope that you've been able to find rest for your souls, rest in your mind, rest in your marriage, rest in your careers. And if you haven't, I pray at this last day of this crusade that you're, that you're able to find rest for your soul. Join us now as we sing songs from the nations. Be blessed.
straight and narrow way. But to Jesus I did pray. He heard my prayer, rescued me that very day. On the sinful path below, all his sorrow, grief, and woe. Ships in sand upon the rock, solid rock. I'll take my stand. Praise God, I'm free. I'm free. I've been set free by the grace of God. I'm free. I'm free. Uh, no more the path of sin I trod. I'm free. I'm free. His blood has cleansed every sinful stain. I'm free. Like a bird in prison I swept No freedom for my sorrow I felt But Jesus came and listened to me Oh, glory to God He set me free He set me free Yes He set me free Yes He broke the bounds of prison for me I'm glory bound my Jesus to see for glory to God he set me free he set me free yes he set me free oh praise God I'm free I'm free, I'm free. I'm free by the grace of God you are totally free. Yeah. Say, I am totally free. Tonight is the final of all the final. And whatever is the problem you are brought here tonight, you are not going back home with them in Jesus' name. Jesus will give a final touch to everything. You will never remain the same anymore in Jesus' name. Once again, I welcome every one of us to this center of miracle. We are going to listen to testimonies right now from the Lord. My name is Dr. Owadokun Adeshola. Beside me, I am a medical practitioner. And beside me, I have um, Mr. Vincent Samuel. He was miraculously healed of pyomyositis of the left upper limb. Let's listen to his testimony. I want to thank God. I want to give glory to the name of God for what he has done for me. Your since, name. Since the beginning of this month, I just, I had a sudden swell on my hand, so I couldn't carry the hand up. And now, on Saturday, since Saturday now, I can carry it. God has healed me. I'm delivered. <laughs> Praise God. Praise Put your hands together for Christ. I examined the hand. The swelling has gone down. The hand was swollen before. In fact, there was a wound that was discharging before. But now, the wound is dried up. No more discharge. Swelling gone down. And you could see that it could lift up the hand. Palmasitis was healed by the triumphant power of Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have beside me also an eight-year-old uh, girl by name Folake Adegbomiri. 
from Ayeka, Okitibukpa region. She was diagnosed to have meningitis. She was taken to the hospital and they spent 19 days in the hospital. But when the parents saw that there was no significant improvement, they decided to take the child away from the hospital. They heard about this program and she was brought to this program on the second day of the crusade after the prayer of the man of God. She rose up. She was, you know, she had altered level of consciousness. She was lying down. She couldn't walk. But after the prayer of the man of God, she regained her consciousness. She stood up. And since then, she has been able to walk. Let's listen to the mother share the testimony with us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hello, 19 days in the hospital. Later, I'm going to be a little bit of 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 a little Tosi a debi aba won se aba won se se aba won se program yen later ni friday ba se wa friday ba ma se so pe ke fihun le ni yen ko n fe rin bo se dide ni yen o rin o gbe ese yen o rin o rin o gba to di sunday atun wa saturday a wa sunday a wa se o rin but a wa so pe a fe se idupe won wa so pe ki je ko ni strength dada ko rin dada ba o ti le rin o ya rin lo Praise the Lord. That wonderful name of Jesus will roll away your problem tonight in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Beside me, I have Mama Ramata Jade Shola. She was healed by the power of God of migraine headache of 10 years duration. Let's listen to her. Share testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm going to buy your logo. I love moving your logo. Oh, if you fall, that's if you are doing my work. See, my skill, I love my own woman for me. Be my five bow. Need a bow. Oh, need a sanity. All your time for me. I am on my top. We, we, we. More I do follow along. More you know, go. What do I know? At what you want to write. So ye, so ye. My sister made you know. I'm a more alone, you see, a caring. Oh, go refund, I hear me. A lot of me see, I said, Pata, 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 Magilaro. Oh, no, for me, my last year, do my wa. Timagilaro, go for Doctor Lotima, me not to go. Go for Doctor Mosikasa Mare. More no, no, go refund, no. I'm a real for my mother, you know, go. Go for that. What do you go? What do you go? You go along. Praise the Lord. Migraine headache, problem of 10 years, healed in one day by the triumphant power of Christ. Praise the Lord. Before we continue, there is a special announcement or information from the media. Let's listen. They say it's all blue. We see circumstances spelling doom. And yes, it's a real struggle to boom. Longing for a breakthrough, but no wrong. And now, you're boxed in. Seems there's no way out. And just then, this is 
I am God, I change not He will hasten His word, a performance will come to your life in Jesus' name. It's time to demonstrate the power of the Lord in your life in Jesus' name. Come alive for GCK Positivity. Look ahead. It's a large field of possibilities at the largest state, North Central Nigeria. Niger State is the Alpha location. This September 2022, 22nd to 27th, 1600 hours GMT. The God of all possibilities live. At the Trade Fair Complex, Shango Abuja Road, Mina, Niger State. And broadcast to the world, live, via satellite, social media, radio and television. Featuring special conference where ministers and professionals will experience faith for all possibility. And the Impact Academy will be a super flight of extraordinary pace setters for all youth, young adults and professionals the humble honest and holiness inspired man of excellence your gck convener dr w f kumui will be ministering along with the american gospel singer paul below the god of all possibilities for everyone governors kings and queens name is dr shen zabai nohu the former deputy governor of niger state and i'm glad to be associated with pastor kumui I want to use this opportunity to invite all Nigerians to the global crusade with Kumuyi. GCK, this September, your season of possibilities. Nothing is impossible. Hands together for Christ. We are moving from triumphant power to the God of possibilities. We invite the choir from the Alpha location. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today is the last day of the Triumphant Power Global Crusade. You have been here the first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, and today is the sixth day. And you are thinking that God, you are still, I'm still with this problem. I'm here, I'm, I'm here to tell you tonight that every chain, every chain holding you bound shall be broken tonight in Jesus' name. Amen.
Day of the Triumphant Power Conference 2022. 
We pray that you have been blessed by the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Dr. Kamui, for inviting me to lead worship. And may God continue to bless each of you during this conference. This time we're going to raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah louder than the unbelief. I raise a hallelujah. My weapon is a melody. I raise a hallelujah. Heaven comes to fight for me. I'm going to sing, and I'm going to sing in the middle of the storm. Louder and louder, I'm going to hear my praises roar. Up from the ashes, hope will arise. Hallelujah, with everything inside of me, I raise a hallelujah, I will watch the darkness flee, I raise a hallelujah, in the middle, in the middle of the misery. Hallelujah. Fear and love did hold on me. I'm gonna sing, and I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm. And louder and louder, I'm gonna hear my praise in the roar. And up from the ashes, the death will arise. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. Yeah. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. Yeah. Sing a little louder. In the presence of my enemies. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder, my weapon is a melody. Sing a little louder, heaven comes to fight for me. Sing a little louder, in the presence of my enemies. Sing a little louder, louder than the unbidly. Sing a little louder, my weapon is a melody. Sing a little louder. Hallelujah, I raise a hallelujah, I raise a hallelujah, I raise a hallelujah, sing it again, I raise a hallelujah, Lord God, I raise a hallelujah. 
the praise in this room. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Well, are there any overcomers in this room? I say it again. Are there any overcomers in this room? Seated on his throne is the one who overcame. All authority and power is in his name. Seated above and thrown in the Father's love. Destined to die, poured out for all mankind. God's only Son, perfect and spotless one. He never sinned, He never sinned, but suffered as it be. Yeah. 
their crowns before the Lamb of God and say. Sing the verse again, all the saints and all the saints and angels, they bow before your throne. And all the elders and all the elders cast their crown before the But Jesus, we worship you. We are thankful for the sacrifice that you made. And the love was not only demonstrated, but you manifested your love for each of us that while we were yet sinners, you came and died for us. And we are thankful. And we are grateful. And we give you praise. And it's in the name of Jesus we pray. And all of God's people said, Amen. 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 
and amen. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. You can do better than that. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Celebrate the grand finale of the Triumphant Power Crusade. We bring you testimonies from online. So many things God is doing. And we start from Delta States, South, South Nigeria. Delta States, coming up on your screen now. We thank God for God's goodness upon our life. We are from Delta States, Nigeria. By the special grace of God, God is faithful to our family. It all started the year 2021, February, that our baby was struck with sickness. When things just took a sudden change, and I could not believe that this was my daughter. It was like a dream. She could not talk. She could not walk. But this was a child that was doing everything. She could write 1 to 30 before all this. After about two doctors we consulted at the time, yeah, they could not do anything. And before we know what happened, the second one had to refer us to FMC, Federal Medical Center, Asaba. Uh, as I'm talking now, those of them over there at the medical center, children ward, can testify about it. They treated and treated. We stayed there for a good three weeks. There was no solution. We have to move the child from Asaba to Wari. Brought her down here, located another hospital, and took her there. With prayers from our daddy in the Lord, husband went for a retreat in the midst of the crisis. I was at home with her. We were in the hospital at times. He came back. We connected to Daddy. During the um, June edition of the Global Crusade, he mentioned her case. And that is where all this miracle began. At the end of that Global Crusade, we have to go and see our doctor. And the doctor was surprised of what God has started doing. We heard our voice after three months. We heard peculiar voice on the 25th of July. I was when we heard peculiar voice for her. after three months. She said, hey, my Jesus, save me, save me, What is this? started crying. Then she started talking, not talking as in talking like before, but we give God all the glory. She started walking again, started sitting down again, started recovering. By November 25th, my baby finally came back to life. That is just a case of what God cannot do does not exist. And just another very striking one coming right now from Edo State. Edo State a very striking testimony, what the Lord has done. Coming on your screen now. Praise the Lord. My brethren, praise the Lord. My name is Brother Ejime Uzegbe from Oko District, Benin City, Edo State. On October 26, 2021, I had an accident along Portacourt Road, the, the vehicles were assaulted and, uh, and suspended because of the seat bed, so I did not fall out. But after the rescue team came and brought us out, I went to hospitals and uh, I diagnosed nothing was wrong with me. But after a month, I now discovered that I was having pains, severe pain, excruciating pain from my bone behind. That is my spinal cord. And I discovered that my arm was now becoming very weak. I could not raise it up. I was now wondering. I said, this is spinal cord problem. And 
When I heard of spinal cord, that one can also go disabled, I became afraid. No money for the treatment. The little one I had, I spent it for the checkup. It continued like that. The first month, second month, third month, fourth month, the global crusade at Ibadan, I was officiating as a guard that day outside the church. So, but when I heard that, the pastor said, lay your hands on the places that we are paining you. Or you have pain, son. And I laid my hand, I used my right hand to lay on it. I just believe that it has gone. I didn't even remember about it anymore. Until after a month, during the next crusade. And I remember, I said, ah, this pain has gone. All since then till now, more than six months, the pain has gone. Now I can turn my hand, I can lift it up. Praise the Lord! It is a big hallelujah. And before we return to the Alpha location where we see jubilations of great things the Lord is doing, we still have this one coming from Calabar, another wonderful thing the Lord has done. Calabar, coming on your screen now. Church, praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Moses Benjamin from Orokorok Group of Districts. Calabar region, Cross River State. I want to testify the goodness of the Lord upon my life. It happened on Friday. I used to have this severe headache, very severe one that brings out tears from my eyes. So I can't look at um, light for a long time. Tears should be dripping from one side of my eye. And I tried a lot of self-medication, taking it was typhoid and whatever, but it did not work. And then I called my doctor once, telling him everything about it. He said it's migraine headache and prescribed some drugs for me. Very severe pain. And this has happened for over one year now. But by the grace of God, on Friday, when I came for the global crusade, I, I, when the man of God was ministering, I laid one of my hands on my eye. And I was, as I was praying, after the final amen, I received that very day I, I had the pain tears were dripping from one side of my eyes but immediately after the final amen the pain ceased the water the tears dried up and from that day till now no migraine headache no pain I'm sound I'm strong I'm okay it's gone and gone in the upper location here so many jubilation we hand over back now to the moderating pastor things are happening in the camp. We are going to listen to the testifier, the first testifier from the Alpha location now. Praise the Lord. I am Dr. Femi Ayodeji, a medical practitioner. Here with me, I have Mr. Alafe Ayodeji. And uh, Interestingly, he has been suffering from what we call a symptomatic cardiac arrhythmia for about 12 years now. But by the special grace of God, during this current global crusade, he received his healing. 
So I will hand over to him now to give us his testimony. Praise the Lord! I want to bless God for his faithfulness in my life. Uh, it's been 12 years now, since 2010 precisely, that I've been suffering from the, uh, the, the problem mentioned. At first, it started uh, just uh, occasionally. I had it occasionally, but until this year that it began to occur, or let me say precisely three months ago or two months ago, it started occurring incessantly. But as the Lord God will have it, in fact, I was already having shortness of breath. It was so severe. But on Thursday, the very first day of this crusade, when the servant of God, the man of God, when he prayed, something happened. I, it was, uh, in fact, I really felt it overnight as I woke up. Because this thing, when it happens to me, it leaves me weak, sick, and all that. But when I woke up in the morning the following day, I discovered that I was, I, I've been well. Until now, there is no repeated uh, occasion of this thing. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Some of the symptoms that he presented with recurrent palpitation, dyspnea, and other symptoms that have been actually disturbing. But like he, like he said, during this program, all those symptoms disappeared. Press the Lord. That's the miracle of the first night. The latter one, the, the last one, is going to be greater. And it's for you. I say it's for you. Let's listen to the next testifier. Praise the Lord. The second testifier is Mrs. Onele Shidema. And uh, during this program, she received the greatest miracle of salvation. So she's here to testify to the glory of God. Praise I'm very happy tonight. Although time might not permit me to sing a song, please, I can I? <laughs> In fact, his love sought me, and his blood bought me, and his wondrous grace brought me to his fold. For so many years, I've been going going and I didn't know that I didn't have that assurance of salvation in me. Something happened. Because it was three years ago, we were at Aranda Titanla. It was revealed to me. We were very many. And as we went, as we wanted to go, as if we wanted to go and fight a battle, I joined them. But somebody called my attention. One of them said, what of your helmets? I just look at myself. I say, I'm not having my helmet on. Ah, so I now turned back in that uh, dream. So since that time, I have been, I've been participating in the things of God. Uh, 